the project kicked off in early 2015 and everyone involved was very conscious of the late spring 2016 deadline. The Republican National Convention was to be held in Cleveland in the summer of 2016 and the lobby had to be open for the festivities. The original ceiling was likely three-coat plaster applied over lath, and the ornamental parts were likely cast on site or at a nearby local plaster shop. The cast pieces would be pressed into the wet plaster ceiling and built up slowly, small piece by small piece. To speed up the installation process, we employed modern means of construction that would be faster but still keep a high level of quality. For instance, Large plaster parts were created off-site and shipped to Cleveland. The pieces for the barrel vaulted ceiling arrived as curved parts that were assembled like a giant jigsaw puzzle in the air. To give the parts their curve, plywood forms were created that resembled a skateboard quarter pipe. The curve of the ramp matched the curve of the ceiling. The ceiling ornament was sculpted on a flat surface and then a rubber mold was made of it. Those rubber molds were then laid on the curved plywood forms and plaster poured into the molds. Once the plaster set, the newly cast curved parts could be removed from the mold and the process repeated. The parts were attached to the ceiling with mechanical fasteners and adhesive, screws and glue. To avoid having to locate every stud into which to drive the fasteners, the entire ceiling was coated with a structural layer of sheet metal and moisture-resistant gypsum board so that any part of the substrate was a good anchoring point. These modern methods allowed us to install the ceiling in just about six weeks. It then took another four weeks to point the plaster, which is filling in the gaps between plaster pieces with wet plaster and gently forming it. From there, it was another four to six weeks until the paint and decorative finishes of the ceiling were done. So, how did we do in recreating the lobby? Well, I think the most meaningful piece of feedback I received was about an usher at the theater who walked into the new lobby at its completion in 2016. He had been to the theater as a child, and it was relayed to me that seeing the recreated lobby brought tears to his eyes as he recalled the memories of his time there as a youth. It's my hope that the lobby can be the setting in which many more happy memories are made and shared by the residents of Cleveland for generations to come.